We want to help amputees to use their prosthetic device. And to do this, we take their brain into believing that prosthetic device, it belongs to their physical body, is actually perceived as their own physical body. What's really new about our approach is that we can restore the perception of the phantom limb and make it grow into the physical device, into the prosthetic device, so that it fits the prosthetic device. For example, a person with an amputation at this level perceives his hands right at the tip of the stump, as if the phantom limb was shorter. And this alteration of the experience of the phantom can affect the usage of, of the prosthetic device and the, and the embodiment of the prosthetic device. Our approach was to trick the brain through two senses, vision and touch. We administer neurostimulation in the nerve of the stump to elicit tactile sensation on the index finger of the phantom limb. And at the same time, we illuminate the exact same location, so the index finger of the prosthetic device. One of the important results was that extension of the phantom limb lasted not only during the simulation, but also 10 minutes after the simulation was ended. So the next step would be to test exactly the amount of stimulation we would need to make these effects permanent. Uh, another important problem of amputee patient is phantom pain, so pain associated with the phantom limb. And it would be very interesting in future studies to address this and to see whether our approach can also uh, alleviate this pain. Thank you.